What is going on, YouTube people? New Cards and Comics here. Fun one today. Our old pals over at Tag, the Tag Army, the Tag Bots, have shaken the snow globe a little bit. They rolled out some new pricing. They are calling it, uh, in their own words, uh, a price decrease. Uh, it's the messaging in their Discord. I, I mean... I guess, kind of, not really. I, I we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll, we'll run through it. Uh, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see tags, pricing slash service update. I don't know if this is live yet on their system. They posted this in their Discord on Thursday evening uh, with it going live soon, but they did not state exactly how soon. On the right, you see their current pricing. They run through a list of reasons why they are doing this. Essentially, it sounds like they got a little bit of backlog. Limited capacity is essentially what they state. There are four reasons there on the top left-hand side. Limited capacity and throughput in light of substantial increase in demand. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, recognize the demands of budget-minded customers offering bulk. Uh, helping TAG's bottom line to fund further expansions of services through offer premium expedited options to customers, aka we want more money, implementing a bulk value service, and bringing further simplicity to the cost structure. So what did they actually change here? First, current prices were, we're going to skip over V, that's verified, that just basically means it's slabbed authentic. Let's focus on X and S. For those that don't remember, S is the thousand point scale. X is their new simplified 10 point scale uh, with a light version of the dig report. Up until this switch, S was $25 per card for a 15 day turnaround time. If you wanted three to five day, it was like 50 bucks a card, I think. Uh, yeah, $50 a card for three to five day, 15 day turnaround time, $25 a card. $14 card X, for 30 days. And this was whatever you wanted to send in. One card, five cards, 20 cards, didn't matter. All right, what are they moving to? Uh, it's this little section over here. They are adding bulk. 30 to 40 business day turnaround time, X $12, S $24. The trick here is, is the min 25 cards, you know, needing that for a bulk order to unlock those pricing. I don't know what their, you know, I don't know what their bulk submission stuff look like. On the other side, for the non-bulk stuff, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. X, $16 a card instead of $14 a card. The difference is it goes from a 30-day turnaround time to a 5 to 10-day turnaround time. So slight increase, but a decrease in time spent at the facility. The big one and the one that people seem the most fired up about is S, which is the thousand point scale, which it seems like the strongest supporters for TAG really, really like the S submission, the thousand point scale. That was what TAG was kind of originally, originally pitched and sold on. And it seems like the thing they are trying to get away from. Uh, that is going to be $32 a card, but three to five business day turnaround time. And this is where they are saying this is a decrease in price because they are quoting it off of this is replacing the $50 three to five day level. I mean, sure. If that's how you want to argue that, I guess. Uh, to me, this is just me, not them. I, I view that $32 pricing replacing the $25 tier. I don't know that there's that big of a difference between three to five days and 15 days. I don't know. Curious for your thoughts and comments on that one down below. Do you view this as a price decrease or a price increase for S? Specifically S, because like I said, that's the one where people seem the most hung up about. And this goes back to the, the problem with S and the thing that I've been questioning from the beginning with the automated grading. The reason, or one of the reasons why the S takes so much longer is, is and this is what, you know, 
Tag has said this multiple times, is S requires a lot more QA, and it's essentially bottlenecking things is the way that I understand it. If I'm wrong, I am sure it will be corrected in the comments, but that's the way that I understand it is S is creating a bottleneck because of the QA it takes after it's been automatically graded. That's the part where they always lose me. The thousand point scale system just does not seem to be scalable, for lack of a better term. And that was kind of their whole shtick. And now you could, to me, this is another pivot in the, boy, we would really like you not to send us cards at S. Boy, we would love if they keep came in, came, keep coming through the door at the X level because we could turn that around a lot quicker because the tolerances aren't as tight. You don't need to QA a card as long if it's the difference between a nine and a 10. You know, that that's that's pretty simple. You know, you don't have to really get into the weeds. But if it's a 935 versus a 952, that the, the QA process of that was taking longer. If your system's so, if your automation is so good, why does it take so much? Q why do you not trust it? that you have to spend so much time QAing it. And it's a human QAing it, not an automated system. I like some of the stuff that they present and some of the stuff that they do, and then some of the stuff really baffles me. The other thing, let's talk about limited capacity in light of substantially increased demand. Where is the demand coming from? Is it normal submitters or something else let's get into what something else could be they did a town hall on the discord uh, a couple weeks ago as part of that town hall they talked about i believe it was elite plus group submitters they got twenty thousand cards from elite plus group submitters now i don't know how many elite plus group submitters they have if that's one person two person five people I don't know. That seems like a lot of cards. I don't know about you, but I am in a ton of different Facebook groups, social media circles, Instagram, whole nine yards. And I can't tell you any time I've ever seen someone advertising tag group submissions. Speculation on my point and some others. They recently did a collaboration with Wildcard where they sold uh, verified tag slabs and a wild card essentially repack is the way that I understand it. I am wondering if one of the Elite Plus group submitters is wild card and they are doing some sort of collaboration with them, kind of like how CGC did with that repack a few months ago and it drastically boosted the numbers. I would be intrigued to know if that 20K, if a bulk of that is coming from something similar. Once again, I don't know that it's wildcard for sure. That's me connecting dots along with some other people that I've spoken to. Like I said, I don't know if that's accurate, but when you lay out and you look at it, I could see how one plus one equals two there. They just did a massive collaboration with wildcard, and now all of a sudden they have a mysterious elite group submitters sending in 20,000 cards. So is it street level demand? Is it the common submitter that is bogging them up? Or is it because they took a massive group submission order and that is jamming up the works? Like I said, I like some of the stuff that they present. I've held the slab in my hand. It's nice. I'm not a big fan of the clear label. It's kind of hard to read sometimes. Maybe that's just because I'm hashtag old. I like that I've seen some stuff come back as flagged as regraded when someone sends it in and then they crack it and send it back in again. The system catches some of that stuff. That's intriguing to me. Uh, I've seen some concerning things. There's some videos floating around from Mr. Frosty, I believe it is, uh, that had some questionable things in it in regards to what they caught and didn't catch. There is just these lingering things of stuff like this is where I still side-eye them a little bit. I just don't trust them as a company yet. I, I just don't. 
not not that they're doing anything deceiving. It's just I am not at, I am still not at the point where I am willing to spend my money to slab one of my cards in one of their cases because I still worry about it actually holding any sort of value later on in life. Like some of the stuff that you're doing, like some of the tech things, it it, it interests me. It's just the reason I keep kind of poking my head in and seeing what's going on over there. Part of the reason Gem Rate and I kind of started tracking numbers behind the scenes. We'll see where things go. Curious for your thoughts and comments, as always, down below. Catch you boys and girls on the next one. Peace.